गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट आर चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू यूजिंग एक्सेल एज डेटा बेस इन विच ओनली फोर टॉपिक्स आर लेफ्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एडवांस फिल्टर ऑप्शन एडवांस फिल्टर ऑप्शन इज यूज टू फिल्टर द डेटा इन मल्टीपल फील्ड यूजिंग स्पेसिफाइड क्राइटीरिया और टू कॉपी द फिल्टर रिकॉर्ड टू अ डिफरेंट लोकेशन मीन्स यू कैन इजिली यूज अ क्राइटीरिया to uh, meet a specific condition and also store your uh, uh, result in the different location right in filter what we done we have to save that uh, the result in the same location but in the advanced filter option we can easily store our result in the different location so let's take an example first of all you have to create some data we already made a database right now what we have to do first of all we have to leave at least 3 or 4 rows just above your database as you can see here i already left the three rows here right now you have to do one thing whatever the field name you are having here now you just have to copy that to the above line of your columns right as you can see here i copied all the field names uh, to the first row okay now you have to set some uh, condition it means a particular criteria that you want uh, in which your filter option will apply okay so uh, here you can take i uh, written here as 78 it means i want the record of that student who got the 78 marks as the total percentage right now what we have to do you just have to click on the data tab as you can see we are having a data tab option here in which this is a sort and filter group in sort and filter group we have to click on advanced option okay when you click on advanced option this advanced filter dialog box will appear right this is a advanced filter dialog box in which we are having action as filter the list in place and copy to another location filter the list in place means the data will appear in the same location but we want the data in the different location right so you have to click on copy to another location and we are having here three range buttons list range criteria range and copy in what we have to do with it let's see first of all list range it means which list you want that in which the advanced filter option will show you just have to select that area suppose i want to select area as my this database okay when you click on this database your range will automatically filled okay now you have to select criteria second is criteria range criteria means which condition we want to set in the uh, advanced filter option this is our uh, criteria no? that we already set here fine you just have to select it when you uh, click on the selection option criteria range will automatically will fill fine now come to the next uh, step copy to it means now in which location actually we want to copy our database you have to select a particular location or area as you can see here i selected this cell k3 this is in k column okay and this is the row number 3 so k3 when you click on it copy to option will automatically filled up okay and just click on okay button right when we click on okay button you can see here the result will appear like this it means it will show you your result on the k3 address and the criteria that we already set as 78 percentage marks it means here we are having the result as roll number 102 name manit having marks in english and this hindi math total per and percentage uh, is 78 so this is the advanced filter option right now we have to uh, come to the next topic that is data validation what is the meaning of data validation you can use data validation to restrict the type of the data 
or the values that user enter into a cell. It means data validation means the validity of your data. It means you have to set some criteria that uh, you have to bounded your data. It means you can make an example that I want a particular result that I just want to check the result of a student who got the marks in between 35 to 70. That is your data validity. Right. So again, we have to take an example first. Again, I already made a data here. Right. Now, here you can see we are having the marks of the students in different subjects like English, Hindi, Maths. I want to add one more subject here, science. Okay. Here you can see I made the column here, science. Now, I want to set our data validity here as uh, the student who got the marks just between 35 to 70 means students who got the marks in science subject in between 35 to 70 that will appear here only not less than 35 and not more than 70. Okay, so uh, what we have to do? First of all, you have to select the range means where you have to add the values. This is our range, right? It means the range is F2. This is your F2, na? F2 to F6. Okay, after the selection this area, you have to do one thing. You have to go to the data validation option again in the data tab. You can see here we are having the data tab and this is the option as data validation. When you click on data validation, this data validation dialog box will appear. Right. Now, what you have to do here, you can see we are having three options. First one is setting input message alert error alert. By default, we are having here as settings. You have to go in the setting area. Right. When you click on setting area, here you can see allow this uh, drop down menu here, the arrow button. Right. When you click on it, these values will appear. You have to click on whole numbers. Okay. After clicking on it, you can see here we are having the data option. Right. And uh, that is between you have to uh, take it as between only after that minimum and maximum here you have to set your data value that I already taken it as minimum marks 35 and maximum 70 it means I want to enter the science marks that is in between 35 to 70 not less than 35 and not more than 70 right and after that, you have to go to the error alert option. When you click on error alert option, you can see here we are having a title here and the error message. Title, you can take any title as per your choice. I written here as error. And same as for error message. You can take any error message like I written wrong input. You can write it as uh, you cannot enter the value or you enter the wrong value or you enter the wrong input or this input is not accessible means you can take any value or any message right i uh, taken as a short message that is wrong input after that you just have to click on ok button okay when you click on ok button you can see here when i added the value as 45 that is the basically in between the range 35 to 70 now so it uh, will appear properly but when you enter your value in between selected range that will so definitely appear but when you enter your value uh, above or below that uh, particular criteria that will send you the message as wrong input. I entered the marks as 72. Okay, 72. Not set in our criteria, right? So it will show you a message error message that is wrong input. So this is your data validation.
okay next come to the next topic that is adding subtotal in database adding subtotal in a database help us to manage and analyze the data right let's again uh, take an example i made the data here as the uh, name month and sales okay now you can see here we are having particular employee name raman the month october and the sale is uh, about 125000 same as for mohit prashant and again raman prashant raman right and the months are october october november right so what we have to do you can see here data tab in which the sub total group is there you can see here sub total group click on it first of all uh, you just have to select your database when you select your database click on sub total option when you click on sub total option this dialog box will appear right now you have to do one thing you just have to click on particular uh, serial number sum option and only sales okay after it click on the month here you can see we are having a option month now you just have to click on month option and then press okay when you click on okay button it will show you your result as like this here you can see we are having the total uh, value addition value of your october month and november month right this is the basic use of your sub total option okay last the last topic of this chapter is data with pivot table what is the pivot table pivot table is a powerful tool for consolidating summarize and presenting your data okay again i made one data here now you can see we are having option pivot table here in the insert tab as you can see here we are having insert tab okay this insert tab we just have to click on insert tab and this is the option as pivot table now you you can see here when we click on pivot table we are having two options pivot table and pivot chart we have to use pivot table okay when uh, first of all again you have to select your data and when you click on pivot table this dialog box will appear right now click on select a table or range after selecting it you can see here we are having two option new worksheet existing worksheet click on new worksheet and then okay here you can see on the right side we are having a pane this is known as pivot table pane okay we are uh, we are having all the field names like name department designation and salary okay you just have to click on name designation and salary when you click on it your data will appear like this this is the basic use of pivot table it means it will show you your result as a different different uh, criteria or designation and the salary and the subtotal of all the values so student uh, these two videos are very important to understand your particular chapter that is chapter number 2 uh, using excel as database please watch these two videos very carefully and apply all the things step by step so that you can easily understand the whole chapter okay thank you